Today we are talking about countering Mercury. I recently talked about countering Baron Samdi and quite a few of you asked for ways to counter Mercury considering how strong he is in the meta at the moment. I will say beforehand that in the context of Mercury, even when you're attempting to counter him, you may run into some obstacles due to the fact that he's just very very strong in the meta now and that some counters may not really do much for you in some situations. That shouldn't deter us from the fact that there are counters though and that we should look at them in detail. As usual, we're gonna look at relics, counter building, guards that counter him in one way or another, positioning and strategies. Let's begin with the relics. First, the choices for squishies here. If you're squishy, the best bet against Mercury is in most situations Aegis Amulet. If you're not CC'd, his burst and the crit is the biggest problem and surviving a few hits and delaying your death can often mean that your team can come to help you or that you can get something off cooldown to get you away from him and that is very very crucial against a god that relies so much on bursting you down quickly. The secondary option here is obviously beats. This is strong against his ultimate as well as his three if he locks you down. So it's something that definitely shouldn't be undervalued and if you're squishy and against a mercury you'll often need both anyways unless you're one of the characters that benefits more from blink. The strongest counter to mercury in the relic department however is one that is reserved to tanks and that is thorns. If you have enough tankiness to be able to reflect his damage, that can severely hinder his potential. The problem is, if Mercury doesn't go for a tank, then it doesn't matter as much. But when he goes for you and you activate Thorns, he will either kill himself on you or back off unless he's at the point of the build where he has lifesteal. But if he gets lifesteal, then he probably had to sacrifice something else and you have other ways of fighting him. Another item that helps more with countering him in regards to the entire team is Horrific Emblem. Especially the upgraded version is good here. You get a 40% movement speed slow, which is very strong against Mercury, who has to stick close to his target, but he still has his mobility. And at the same time, the 25% attack speed slow doesn't matter all too much to him as he gets his attack speed start anyways. But having his damage reduced by 20% is something that can be very impactful when you have the upgraded version, because it takes away from his very quick burst crit potential. Another relic that helps in that regard as well is Shell, especially the upgraded version, which will block two basic attacks, again, which could easily be crits that could otherwise kill a god. The block stacks on the upgraded Shell means that Shell is significantly better against Mercury than Meditation. However, if you're out of other options and you really need to go into healing, Brace and Meditation theoretically work against them as well, though I would not classify them as counters just because their potential compared to the other relics is simply not good enough. When it comes to counter building, there are quite a few options, but one stands above them all, and that is Hide of the Nemean Lion. Not only does it come with a heavy 70 physical protection, but also 25% damage reflection, meaning that Mercury, once again like with Thorns, will take a lot of damage himself when attacking anyone. Reflecting is really one of the strongest ways to counter Mercury, and if you're in a situation where he's just bursting you down over and over, even as a squishy, I wouldn't throw this option out of the window completely, just to be able to survive his onslaught of damage. Another option that I think is relatively potent is Witchblade. It has that 20% attack speed slow, again it's not crazy against Mercury because he has an attack speed steroid anyways, but it's better than nothing and it helps your team in any situation. You have, hypothetically, Midgardian Mail as well, which has up to 24% movement speed and attack speed reduction, but the problem is it takes 3 hits to fully stack that up, and by the time you took 3 hits from Mercury, many characters have already taken way too much damage. So this is something only tanks really benefit from, and that again requires Mercury to go for the tank, whereas Witchblade just requires the tank to be nearby. As a squishy, Magi's Cloak is obviously also a great option to survive his CC better, which sets up the rest of his damage. And as he has two ways of forcing it, you would still have to position carefully, but still, it makes your life a lot easier. Another option for squishies is Celestial Legion Helm. I keep mentioning this item because I consider it a very strong one, but it's especially strong here. You have up to 90 physical protection until you take damage, and then you lose 10 protection per hit. What you have to keep in mind is that Mercury relies on quick crits that do a lot of damage in a few hits. That means that often you will block off the initial incoming damage from him and then just be able to survive long enough until somebody can help you or your damage output is strong enough against him. So if you don't want to opt into Nemean but you still want to get a little bit of damage and a lot of defense against him on top, this is an excellent item. 
If you're a support, you can obviously opt into the typical aura items as well to help your team have more protections, in this case being Sovereignty, Jade Emperor's Crown and to a lesser extent Gauntlet of Thebes. Another item that can definitely be used against Mercury is Mantle of Discord. It just helps you with getting an additional CC against Mercury, a god that is typically rather prone to being CC'd and killed himself. And Mental of Discord can also help you get away, create a bit of distance, and if he already uses other engages, then that may help you too. And that brings us to the gods. The biggest counter to Mercury, in my opinion, is Kuzumbo. Literally, his entire kit is designed to annoy Mercury in one way or another. You can block off his basics with your Nene Kappa, you can use your 2 in order to reflect his incoming damage and hurt him more, kind of like Thorns and Nemean do, only that you use abilities for it. You have your 3 to lock him down for quite a while in a fight, and you have your ultimate to constantly push him away, disrupting his potential to damage your allies at all. So really, everything in his kit works against Mercury. Other guards are more or less counters depending on the circumstance and depending on how well they can compete with his farm. Guards that I would like to mention here are first of all Ymir, Kabrakin and Odin, who have walls, and walls work very well against Mercury because of his two dashes. However, especially if you're playing Odin jungle and you fall behind, or Kabrakin jungle, then it still won't help you much and Mercury's clear in the early jungle is absolutely insane. A god that can kind of keep up with Mercury's clear at the moment is Sir Cat, and she also otherwise counters him a lot because she just has a lot of CC, she has a lot of quick burst and she can burst him before he gets the chance to get a lot of basic attacks off. A more hypothetical counter on the other hand is Kali. In a late game trading scenario, Kali can ult and basically survive Mercury long enough to kill him first in most situations. The problem is you have to get to late game first and it's a long way there against the Mercury who can constantly farm your jungle away from under your nose because you're Kali. This is a problem that Cat simply doesn't have. Another god that counters Mercury to a decent extent is Bellona, due to the fact that she can disarm him and also build block stacks herself, so that, in combination, means she can counter him out quite well. A few gods can counter Mercury simply by rivaling his burst damage. That is for example Habois, who also struggles way more in early game, that is Nox, who can lock him down very well, that is Zeus, who can just drop his own ult on himself and just burst Mercury down very, very quickly. That is Poseidon, who can work with his cripple. And that is especially Morrigan, who can use her combo. And if that wasn't enough, she can just turn into Mercury herself. And the enemy Mercury is already lower, so she gets the upper hand in terms of damage output. Other gods that can counter him just through bursting him down very quickly are Loki. And depending on the situation, Daji also once again struggles with the early clear. Another kind of counter, in a sense, is also Capri, because when your guard is so focused on quick burst and you suddenly get a high crit and accidentally kill someone in the Capri ult, that may be very detrimental for your team fight. Some more or less counters that are more debatable depending on the situation are for example Vamana. If he gets ahead enough and he's tanky enough, then he can very much trade Mercury in his own ultimate, especially if he has Thorns. But if he falls behind and he doesn't keep up in jungle farm, that becomes a problem. Hunbats, who simply has a similar late game potential and can also go into crit and just basically trade Mercury in a 1v1, depending on how lucky he is, and at the same time have good teamfight impact. Nemesis, depending on how well her reflections go for her, really situational, depending on what build you're going for, this may work better or worse as well. Nuwa, kind of, if she gets her burst off, and also because she has the chance to catch a Mercury that gets out of a fight, which she can quite easily do with his high mobility, and her ult kind of makes up for that. In the same sense, Neath, but very conditional counters both here. What I would not consider counters at the moment that could technically be able to otherwise box them are Arachne and Bakasura, and that is simply due to his one allowing him to proc Golden Blade, and Golden Blade meaning more damage on these guards if they have their minions out. So by having more tools to fight him, you actually give him more damage. If Golden Blade gets a nerf somehow and is not cleaving like that anymore, then Arachne and Bakasura are considered stronger picks here once again. Again, a lot of guards can counter Mercury more or less and they can burst him down, but it really depends on the situation more than anything. These are a few examples that work well in some situations, but also not in all. Some tips on positioning. Never line up as a team. If you stand at a line, it's the easiest way for Mercury to just ult through all of you, CC all of you and get a ton of damage off. 
don't do that. Avoid his ult by standing close to corners or walls. If you're in the jungle, if you're fighting in an area with a lot of walls, that can be very beneficial. Mercury has to choose to only ult a few targets or maybe even miss his ult if he's trying to get to you. And that can be very strong, especially for your squishies. On the other hand, if he used his ult, try avoiding follow-up damage by staying away from walls. This is honestly pretty hard because you have to change your strategy mid team fight, and he doesn't have to do that. But if you know his ult is down, then what he will try to do in some situations, though not always, is throw you against a wall so he gets more basic attacks off quicker. By being away from walls, he throws you away a little bit further, which can sometimes be that little bit of distance that you need to set up something for yourself or get away from him. Do not stay in lane for no reason. If you are between waves and you're not planning to do anything with the wave, then try to move outside of the lanes towards the jungle. Because what Mercury can do is he can ult through the entire lane from the back of his tower basically and hit you that way. And if you're just standing around between waves, that makes it very easy for him. Also, depending on who you are, do not take a 1v1 with him. Mercury is very much designed as a 1v1 guard. So if your character is not geared for that, you don't have a self-heal or crit yourself or something, just don't do it. And now for some strategies. A very strong strategy against Mercury is to hard collapse on him with your team. The only CC immunity he has is it is ult and that's only after charging it up. And if he's at the risk of being CC'd, he doesn't have enough time to charge it up much. So in those situations, you can kind of capitalize on that. He also often doesn't invest too much outside of that into CC immunity, outside of maybe beats, whereas he could sometimes have Magi's Blessing. It's not something you will always see on him, depending on the build really. And that means that if you get him CC'd, you can easily take him down, because most Mercury builds, though not all, do not invest into defense. Those who do are a little bit different, but in those situations you are not quite as concerned with him being quite as bursty as well. Also, consider investing into early physical defense. Mercury's early builds typically do not include any sort of penetration, because he's more focused on building early crit, getting his golden blade, getting his mobility, and all of that is relatively countered by having defense, allowing you to survive a lot better. If you invest into it very late, then he might be able to get something like Titan's Bane, and it will be less effective for his damage output, or damage reduction rather. What you also want to do is hard ward your own jungle, meaning spam wards wherever you can basically. Mercury, in his current state, has an incredibly easy time invading everything and stealing everything from under your hands. So you want to make sure that at least you're aware when it's happening and you can maybe catch him off afterwards. And for that, you need wards as much as you can. And the same also goes for his ganks and his teamfight potential. He will often ult from unexpected places in the jungle and have you have wards there you are a lot more prepared. Additionally, consider warding behind the enemy tower in duo, because he can ult from there, though that's more of a higher level strategy, which you won't see that often in most situations, but when you do, it's better to be aware of it as well. And that's it for my tips to counter Mercury. I hope this will help you a little bit against this guard who is extremely frustrating and annoying to play against at the moment. And with that, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope this was interesting and insightful. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click the sub button and the bell, it really helps you out. And other than that, see you probably for two videos again tomorrow, probably a Fallout and a Smite video, if all goes as planned. Duke Sloth, out.